Hello again, it's archivist David Thomas at the Crescent Kerner Centre at Madruth. Cornish mining is one of the key things that are highlighted and flagged up in our collections. Indeed, we are a designated uh, collection as the Cornish mining paperwork. Amongst that is a remarkable collection of 11 volumes of letters written by mostly Matthew Bolton on behalf of himself and James Watt at Soho in Birmingham to their agent, Thomas Wilson, who lived in Chasewater near Truro. And much is talked about in relationship to Cornish mining at the end of the 18th century, a fascinating collection of letters. A particular letter we have here is dated the 3rd of December, 1791. And Matthew Bolton is writing to Wilson on the subject of repairs to some of the Cornish pumping engines that are in vogue at the time, and also um, attacks on contemporary newspapers. And a particular person had actually says, and he quotes, I presume you have seen an attempt to injure me in the Morning Chronicle of the 26th of November and another on the 28th. I find it is done to prevent me from buying copper but ready money will prove more powerful than the villainy of the author. And he's not very happy about this particular development and being, in effect, slagged off by business rivals. And then he goes on, you may as well write to us for a wagon of gold as ask us for men to erect and repair engines. We have not one to repair our own. They are all out and we have more orders for engines than men to erect them but we will advertise for some and do all we can to relieve Murdoch, whose health I'm as anxious to preserve as my own. And he goes on to talk about one of the particular mine engines at Tincroft in Elugan Parish. He says, it's making a greater saving than ours. I say you will find it does not do more than half the work which some of ours do, with a bushel of coal steering clear of all mistakes that may arise from comparing the tables with another engine. And you will find that many of our engines have, and do, raise 24, 26 and 28 million pounds weight of water, one foot high with a bushel of coals, and even some upwards of 30 million. Ale and Cakes, which was a mine in Gwynedd, of course, have formally done it for months together. He's promoting his, in his opinion, his superior engines and work. This is a a key um, part of our mining correspondence in our collections from the end of the 18th century. It's a fascinating insight, a thousand letters, the nitty gritty of what was going on when Cornish mining was really taking off in a great way in, in Cornwall.